Welcome back to Tech Cloud Solution. This is part 11 of AZ900 certification preparation. To get the complete course, check our Azure Fundamentals course. Link is in the description. Let's jump into the questions. Question 56. How can an architect allow some users to control the virtual machines in each environment, but prevent them from modifying networking and other resources in the same resource group or Azure subscription? Select the correct option. The options are A, create a role assignment through Azure Role-Based Access Control, Azure RBAC. B, split the environment into separate resource groups. C, create a policy in Azure policy that audits resource usage. This question tests your knowledge of the most effective and precise way to delegate resource management tasks without broad or unintended access. You're asked how to let certain users manage, but not overmanage, just the virtual machines, keeping other resources like networking safe. The correct answer is, create a role assignment through Azure Role-Based Access Control, Azure RBAC. A, create a role assignment through Azure Role-Based Access Control, Azure RBAC, is correct. Azure RBAC lets you assign very specific permissions to users for particular resources, such as virtual machines at the resource, resource group, or subscription level. The virtual machine contributor built-in role, for example, allows managing VMs but not networking or storage in the same group or subscription. This means users can control VMs as required but can't accidentally or intentionally modify other resources like virtual networks or public IPs. B, split the environment into separate resource groups. This can help with organization but does not control fine-grained permissions. Users assigned to a resource group would get access to everything inside it, not just VMs. C, create a policy in Azure Policy that audits resource usage. Azure Policy is for monitoring and compliance. It can audit usage or block deployments, but it doesn't grant or restrict permissions for managing VMs versus other resources. Quick takeaway, RBAC assignments are the tool for proper access segmentation in Azure. You can use built-in roles like virtual machine contributor to give VM control only without opening up networking or broader resource permissions. If this video is helping you, support us by hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Question 57. You need to identify which blades in the Azure portal must be used to perform the following tasks. View security recommendations. Monitor the health of Azure services. Browse available virtual machine images. Which blade should you identify for each task? Monitor the health of Azure services. Browse available virtual machine images. View security recommendations. Select the correct option to fill the blank. The options are A, monitor the health of Azure services. Subscription, browse available virtual machine images. Marketplace, view security recommendations. Monitor B, monitor the health of Azure services. Monitor, browse available virtual machine images. Subscription, view security recommendations. Advisor, C, monitor the health of Azure services. Monitor, Browse available virtual machine images, marketplace, view security recommendations. Advisor D, monitor the health of Azure services. Advisor, browse available virtual machine images. Monitor, view security recommendations. Marketplace. This question checks if you know where to find essential monitoring, security, and deployment information in the Azure portal. Each Azure portal blade is a menu area with specific resources or recommendations, so you have to match the task to the tool. The correct answer is monitor the health of Azure services, monitor browse available virtual machine images, marketplace view security recommendations. Advisor, monitor the health of Azure services, use the monitor blade. It tracks resource health, activity logs, metrics, and alerts for all your Azure services. Browse available virtual machine images, Use the Marketplace Blade to browse and choose from thousands of VM images and other resources published by Microsoft and partners. View security recommendations. Use the Advisor Blade, which provides tailored best practices and security recommendations to improve your Azure environment. Why others are wrong. Subscription does not show resource health or VM images. Monitor doesn't show security recommendations. Advisor does. Marketplace is not used for health monitoring or security advice. Quick takeaway, monitor equals resource, service, health, and metrics. Marketplace, browse images and deploy new resources. Advisor, security, performance, and cost recommendations. This is the most efficient navigation for daily Azure management.
To get the free PDF or mock test, comment PDF or mock or both, I will share the downloadable link within the next 24 hours. Question 58. You are planning to implement an Azure database solution with the following requirements. One, database should support adding data concurrently from multiple regions. Two, database should support storing JSON documents. Which database service should you deploy? The options are A, SQL Data Warehouse, B, Redis Cache, C, Azure SQL Server Database, D, Azure Cosmos DB. This question tests if you know which Azure database service supports both multi-region active active writes and native JSON document storage. The key is to find a service that can handle global distributed concurrent data input and flexible document-based NoSQL data models. The correct answer is Azure Cosmos DB. Azure Cosmos DB is designed to support multi-region writes and built-in document storage. It's a NoSQL database supporting JSON documents. Multi-region writes enable you to add data from multiple Azure regions simultaneously and synchronize the updates automatically with 99.999% availability. Cosmos DB natively supports storing and querying JSON documents and offers APIs for NoSQL, MongoDB, Cassandra, and others, all capable of native JSON support. Why the other options are incorrect. A, SQL Data Warehouse, designed for big data analytics, not real-time writes from multiple regions or JSON documents. B, Redis Cache is a distributed in-memory cache, not a persistent document DB. C, Azure SQL Server Database supports JSON columns but does not support multi-region concurrent writes, only has single write region, geo-replication is read-only in secondary regions. D, Azure Cosmos DB, the only option that supports both requirements natively. Quick takeaway, for a globally distributed document model with multi-region writes, Cosmos DB is Microsoft's purpose-built solution. Question 59. Which of the following statement is correct for Azure Advisor Hub? Select the correct option. The options are A. If you implement the security recommendations provided by Azure Advisor, your company's secure score will decrease. B. Azure Advisor can generate a list of Azure virtual machines that are protected by Azure Backup. C. Security recommendations provided by Azure Advisor must be implemented in a maximum of 10 days. D. You can use Azure Advisor to understand how to reduce the cost of running Azure Virtual Machines. This question tests your understanding of the main roles of Azure Advisor, especially around cost optimization for virtual machines. You should choose the option that perfectly matches what Azure Advisor actually does in a real Azure environment. The correct answer is, you can use Azure Advisor to understand how to reduce the cost of running Azure Virtual Machines. You can use Azure Advisor to understand how to reduce the cost of running Azure Virtual Machines is correct. Azure Advisor provides tailored recommendations to help you reduce your cloud costs by identifying idle, underutilized, or over-provisioned virtual machines and suggesting actions like resizing, shutting down, or leveraging reserved instances. The Cost tab of Azure Advisor displays cost optimization tips, including possible savings for each recommendation. Advisor is widely used by organizations to track and reduce Azure cloud costs proactively. A is incorrect. Implementing security recommendations increases, not decreases, your secure score. B is incorrect. Advisor does not directly generate lists of VMs protected by Azure Backup, though it can recommend enabling backup if it's missing. C is incorrect. There is no 10-day mandatory policy for implementing security recommendations from Advisor. They are suggestions, not deadlines. Quick takeaway, Azure Advisor is a free Microsoft platform tool that helps you optimize performance, security, and reliability across Azure, and cost reduction for virtual machines is one of its best known features. Question 60, you are planning to configure and estimate the costs for Azure products. Which file format is supported when downloading Azure cost estimates? The options are A, XLS, B, JSON, C, XML, D, CSV. This question tests whether you know the supported download formats from the Azure Pricing Calculator and Cost Estimation Tools. You're specifically being asked about the format used for exporting cost estimates for official tracking or sharing. The correct answer is XLS, or .XLSX, the Excel file format. When you use the Azure Pricing Calculator to estimate the cost of Azure products and services, the Export Download option provides your results as an Excel spreadsheet file. This makes it easy to review, share, and analyze costs using Excel or compatible spreadsheet software. 
CSV is not the export option for Azure cost estimates, nor are JSON or XML offered for these downloads. XLS is widely compatible and is the expected file type for business and finance workflows. Quick takeaway. To download Azure cost estimates, choose the XLS Excel format. Great for spreadsheets, analysis, and easy sharing. Thanks for watching today's session. If you're following the AZ900 series, make sure you don't miss the next part. And if you haven't already, check out the complete course. Link is in the description. See you in the next video.